This sarcastic phrase has been seen and heard in the boating industry for years. And maybe it'll ring a bell with you. The saying goes, there are two things that test a marriage. One is having kids. Two is docking the boat. Well, lucky for you, I'm here to take the stress off your back and teach you the proper boat docking skills so that you can have a marriage that lasts a lifetime. Well, at least for the docking part. Hi, I'm Timmy McNamee, professional wake surfer and water sports coach for Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Does your heart race at the thought of having to dock your towboat? If so, you're not alone. Docking a towboat certainly isn't easy, and if you're like many others that struggle with docking their towboat, this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll have gained the knowledge and peace of mind to calm your nerves and dock your towboat with ease. In today's video, we will cover how to achieve the best possible control with your towboat, how to approach the dock, and what to do once you've approached the dock. The most effective way to control and maneuver your towboat is to practice a drill that I called steering gear. To steering gear your towboat, you wanna to practice with the steering wheel and the throttle acceleration. When you steer first in the direction you want to go and then put the throttle into gear, the boat actually responds much quicker for you. Therefore, it's going to be much more precise and nimble coming into the dock or picking up a skier. When you put the throttle into gear, it's important that you take it slow. You wanna bump it right into gear and not actually accelerate forward. When you bump it into gear, the boat's gonna respond and it's going to start to turn to the way you control the steering wheel. As soon as you put the boat into gear and it starts to respond in the direction that you set your steering wheel to, it's important that you come back to neutral and let the boat start to drift in the direction that you want to achieve. Correct your steering and put the throttle back into gear to keep maintaining that line on your way into the approach. When docking your tow boat, the easiest way to dock is on the driver's side or the starboard side of the boat. It's also easier because tow boats generally pull to the right when you put them in reverse, which is gonna come in handy when you're coming in to dock. To keep the angle coming into the dock, I like to hold a 40 degree angle as I approach. And using that steering gear method that you just learned, you're gonna hold that 40 degree angle coming in nice and slow. Once you've approached the dock nice and slow, holding that 40 degree angle, put your throttle into reverse, as that's gonna pull the stern of the boat into the dock and hug you up nice and tight, almost like a parallel park. Be mindful as you approach the dock that you're putting your boat in and out of gear very gently. It's not an acceleration, it's just a bump into gear and back to neutral. Once you've successfully docked your boat, don't forget to take your lines and securely tie them off on the dock cleats. If you're interested in knowing how to properly tie off your boat, Check out this video we did on how to properly tie your boat. I know, I know, docking a boat can suck. And no matter the experience, all skill levels can struggle. Wind, weather, and current can also affect your docking. So just remember, it's okay to take it slow and it's okay to pull out, turn around, and do it again. As the saying goes, when in doubt, pull out. Hmm, maybe that'll take care of the kids part. All aspects of boating and owning a towboat should be fun. Hopefully this how-to helped calm your nerves and, in some cases, makes for a happier marriage. If you're still hesitant with docking your towboat or docking your towboat on your own, pick up the phone and call us at Lens Cove Marina and schedule your one-on-one -on -one private docking lesson with me. As always, thanks for joining us in Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Don't forget, click that subscribe button for more awesome how-to videos and have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you on the water.